Hello guys, I hope all of you will be fine. So this is the exercise problem for the probability and statistics for engineers and scientists by Walpole and this is chapter 3 exercise problem 3.15. Previously we have seen the CDF plot of uh, the question 3.11. Today we have some questions and on the basis of uh, this CDF we have to answer those questions. Okay, So this is question 3.15 and here we have to, to find the uh, cumulative distribution function of the random variable x representing the number of defective items in exercise 3.11 which is already found out in our previous video which was related to the question 3.16 okay also after it we have to find the value of p x equal to 1 by using the f of x okay so here let me have here the solution this is basically the solution we have and in solution we have here part a and in part a i have probability of x equal to 1 okay so Previously, we have seen that in probability of x equal to 1, that is basically the region which lies here. Okay? So, this is basically the region which is below it and this is basically the value which I want to find out from it. So, that this value minus the value of this one will be the value which is here. Okay. So, I want to find out this value which is the probability at x equal to 1 okay? because now this is a CDF plot and in CDF plot all the things here are basically what? These are basically the cumulative. Okay? So, now in order to do so, we have to do what? Let me have it here. So, in order to do so, I have to write here the probability of x less than or equal to 1 minus the probability of x less than 0. Okay? So, we have to find it out. Now, in order to find it out, to find the values here, we have the value of probability here and that is already given which was the 6 by 7, okay? which is the value at f x is equal to 1. Okay? This is 6 by 7. Similarly, the probability that x is less than 0, this is basically the probability of x equal to or 0. Okay? Now, putting their values, what I will get? Here I will get 2 by 7, which is already given here. We can see that this is x is less than or equal to 1, this is given here and probability x is less than 0, this is already given and this is here. Okay? We can see that this is at x equal to 0. Okay? These are the values of f of x which are given. So, now finding them out, what I will get here, I will get 4 by 7 and that is the solution of part A. You should keep in your mind the difference between p of x and f of x. These are all the values of f of x. If you have seen it and you have been confusing it with these values, this is not basically the case because all the values here it are basically capital F of x equal to 0. So, this is basically the value which basically lies here in this region. Okay? So, you have to keep in your mind. Now, similarly, the solution of part b and that is what the part b is here probability that capital X is greater than 0 and less than or equal to 2. Okay? Now, we have defined two limits and here in order to find the probability in these two regions, what do I have to do? I have to write the value of f and that value is x is less than or equal to 2 which is the higher region minus the probability of x f x is greater than 0. Okay? So, we can see here very clearly that the probability that f x is equal to 2 is basically what we can also write it like f of x equal to 2 and subtracting it from minus f of x equal to 0. These are also the two values. Now, writing them down, it is very clear that in this region, this is 2 by 7 and in this region, this is basically the equal region of 2. So, here it is 1. So, I have to write here 1 and here in this region, I have 2 by 7. 
okay so it will be 2 by 7 and calculating it what i will get here i will get 5 by 7 which is basically the solution of part b which we have okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part a and part b of question 3.15 if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon